have you heard? Mr. Beast built over 100 wells in Africa. Some people loved it. Some people thought he was doing it for clout. Either way, we about to talk about it right now. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra Jackson, licensed marriage and family therapist. If you are new to my channel, hey! But if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how these videos go. Thank you so much for being here. Now, if you don't know who Mr. Beast is, you probably was living under a rock, kind of like how I was, but he is one of the most subscribed individuals on YouTube. He is literally the second most subscribed channel on YouTube as well. He was named by Forbes as one of the highest paid YouTube creators. And this dude has literally went all over Africa. He went to Kenya, he went to Zimbabwe, he went to Somalia. Malia, and he created wells to give a whole bunch of people and villages fresh, clean water. And you know social media has something to say about this because not only was it a white boy traveling all the way to Africa, but people thought, oh, that this was amazing and great. And then other people were like, you know what? I'm not here for Mr. Beast because everything he does is for clout and it has to be televised and recorded. Now, whether you are somebody like me who just got truly introduced to Mr. Beast, I'm not even gonna sit up here and lie to y'all. I knew Mr. Beast existed because he is literally the highest paid YouTuber. He has one of the biggest channels and all of those things, but I never, and I'm sorry, watched one of his videos. In my head, I'm not even gonna lie, I was like, this is a rich white boy who's privileged, who takes his friends all across the world to do all of these weird challenges and expensive things, and they just blowing money and is doing all of this weird stuff and doing tricks and pranks, and I ain't got time to be watching that kind of stuff. But just two months ago, I was on Roku, okay? And I seen Mr. Beast's live channel, and I kept seeing it, and I kept seeing it, and I'm like, what is this live channel situation that he has going on? So I clicked it, and guess what? <laughs> Your girl got hooked. I was watching literally all of his pranks, all of his challenges, him and all of his friends doing some fun, crazy things. I was laughing my behind off. I thought it was so interesting and so intriguing. And then I got privy to the fact that he gives away money. I didn't know that this was a part of the game, okay? And so I figured out that he's not just doing this for clout. He's not just doing this just for the sake of doing it, but he's genuinely helping people and transforming lives. I can't tell you how many people on those videos were like, oh my God, that extra 10,000. Oh my God, winning 20,000 and oh my God, doing this with you and having this extra money changed my life. And I was like, whoa, this is deeper than just some real YouTube video. So I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I am officially hooked and he has a new fan. This man has Feastables, which is a new like chocolate situation. He also has Mr. Beast Burgers, which I am absolutely going to try. He has Beast Philanthropy. He has all of these different businesses, probably more than I'm even privy to, that is helping and transforming and doing a whole bunch of things that I didn't even know bro was doing. So when news popped off on the Shade Room and the Jasmine brand, because that's how I found out about this, I was like, okay, Mr. Beast, I see you going to Africa. I see you doing good work. I see you out here changing and doing things that other people wouldn't necessarily do. So this man literally took him and all his little friends to build all of these wells in different parts of Africa who didn't have the resources that they need to even just have fresh, clean water. And he literally provided over a half a million people, y'all. Half a million people with fresh, clean water. Whether he did it for clout, whether he did it for doubt, whether he did it for route, whatever you want to say about him, he is literally transforming lives. And it's sad that a YouTuber, can we talk about it? Sad that a YouTuber had to be the one to go over to Africa to help this crisis that is going on. And not only did he give them fresh, clean water, he gave them books, he gave them projectors in their schools, he gave them soccer balls for them to play with, he bought all of them bikes, he gave them computers, he, gave, he literally changed their lives. And the part that made it really sad for me was these young kids and their families were using this unsafe water, which made them have diarrhea, which made them have typhoid, which was coming from this river that they used to drink from, to wash their clothes in, and even to use for like medical supplies for the local hospitals and things of that nature. I was literally shook it when he said that these kids and these people had to walk a mile to and from, that's two miles for one trip, just to get fresh, clean water. And they had to do that two times a day. So basically these people are walking four miles just to get something to drink. And that honestly broke my heart because here in the United States, in the Western world, we have access to things that we take for granted each and every single day, especially water. I had the privilege of hopping into a hot shower this morning. I had 
the privilege of going to the grocery store to get a gallon and a case of water. I have the privilege of drinking water right now for you. Listen, these are some of the things that people are not able to do on a regular basis. We take simple things like that, water, electricity for granted. And just by Mr. Beast using his resources, using his finances, and traveling all the way across the freaking world to help a group of people that he does not know, not only is he breaking stereotypes, not only is he breaking stigma, but he's breaking cultural boundaries. He's shifting SES, socioeconomic statuses. And to be honest, he's really doing what other people in the government here and everywhere else should be doing. So you can think about it from this perspective that one guy changed the lives of half of a million people and increased their life expectancy because these kids drinking that contaminated water were dying at a very early age. They have less worries. You're keeping families together. They're literally changing people's lives off of something that we take for granted like water. Whew. So Mr. Beast, <laughs> I know that people say things about you, but you have a new favorite subscriber and I am completely here for it. So if you want to check out what real influence looks like, make sure to watch this video here and I will see you next time.